Okay, so I want to show you how to extract networks from images using Mathematica in about five minutes. I'm going to show you the absolute basics. Mathematica has loads and loads of um, really advanced image processing commands which you can use to uh, make these techniques more efficient. But I just want to show you how to do this very, very simply. And um, there's lots of reasons why you might want to do this. For example, there's a great blog post which shows an example of how you could take a picture of a maze from above and then use image processing techniques to actually solve the maze. If we just uh, drag the image into Mathematica, there we go, and then we better put it up here actually. Now we'll binarize it. And now, since this is a very clean image, all we have to do is just extract a morphological graph. And there we are. Um, so we now have changed this image into a graph structure. And um, of course we can see how this graph structure looks when it's laid out in other ways. So for example, if we do a graph plots 3D of this image, we see that it can be laid out like this. So I think this is kind of interesting. Um, this kind of standard way of bricking walls, which we use, actually corresponds to a hexagonal tiling, um, sort of topologically speaking. So it's, it's kind of funny, really. Um, one of the main ways of human uh, construction is pretty similar to one of the ways that uh, bees tend to make things. Okay, so... Here's the leaf picture that we want to extract a network from. So, we open Mathematica, we drag the picture in. Now let's crop a piece out of this. This picture has a lot of information in it so it takes a long time to process. So let's just select this top part here I'll try and get a few of these branch points there we go and let's just take that part. Now we're going to adjust the image We'll make it really bright and crank up the gamma. Apply. And now we're just going to use this function called binarize. There we are. And now delete small components that'll take a few of the bits off it and now thinning and now finally morphological graph and there we have it um, we've converted our well a piece of our leaf into this graph and um, you can see the way that the vertices are set out are according to the geometric positions in the original picture but we can um, look at the topology in a different way for example we could do a three-dimensional graph plot of this thing like so And here we are. So um, this kind of represents the ways all these different leaf veins are linked together. So of course um, I lost a fair amount of the detail there. This was only a very quick job. Um, if one wants to take more time over it there are all kinds of functions one can use to um, filter out and grab the appropriate parts of this image. I mean ideally we'd probably want to capture these sort of rings and these individual cells. And this should be possible. 
Um, but this is just a very, very fast kind of uh, way that you can extract a network from an image.